What's up, YouTube Revolution? Zomfected Gaming 349 at your fingertips. Welcome to um, the Fallout Amazon Prime television series uh, trailer reaction by me. I've actually seen this trailer actually last week, but I decided, you know, I wanted to do a uh, initial reaction for you guys too. I actually already did my initial reaction myself on my own time to this trailer, but since I'm kind of a Fallout fan, but I don't completely like, you know, cover Fallout content on this channel, but yeah, I decided to get this Fallout 4 um, sweater on, of course, for this video. Um, and since, uh, you know, I am a very big fan of post-apocalyptic television, um, The Walking Dead is probably one of my most favorite television series and universes in TV, I would say as well. Um, and I would say if it wasn't for The Walking Dead, I think shows like The Last of Us also wouldn't exist too. It's cool how HBO's The Last of Us became a thing. That turned out to be pretty good as well. Um, we got, the, of course, The Walking Dead universe continuing. We got Rick Grimes that returned with the show called The Ones Who Live, which is the main, you know, the main face of the Walking Dead universe, the main, the main character. But um, here we are, we got ourselves a Fallout TV show. I understand that some people are saying, or they're a little on the fence, like, eh, I don't know about this Fallout TV show, but to me, I gotta say, it looks like Amazon Prime has put a lot of effort into this um, show. It looks very Fallout, I would say. It has, um, of course, the Brotherhood of Steel's armor. It looks very one-to-one, -one, very good recreation of the uh, of the uh, Brotherhood of Steel armor. The power armor looks really good. Um, and yeah, even the vaults actually look pretty good. They look very similar to the vaults in the, the games. But yeah, anyways, um, we're gonna take a look at the reaction. I mean, we're gonna react to this now. And here we go. Hello there. I'm here to show you a wonderful place. Walter, uh, Walton Goggins, that's a that's the actor. Apparently he's really good. Let's turn on the volume a little bit. I should turn up what not. Because if the worst should happen tomorrow, the world is going to Yeah, this looks exactly like the games. They they nailed the um the theme just like the games guys very well. And this will be set in LA of course. So on the West Coast just like Fallout New Vegas. The mission of the vault should be important to everyone. So this is apparently the um one of the main characters her name is Lucy right here. She kind of reminds me of Amata, I don't know why. Amata from Fallout uh, 3, if you guys remember who Amata is. That's what she kind of looks slightly a little bit like. Uh, Westward, uh, Westworld director uh, Jonathan Nolan. That song is from Fallout 3, I do know that. I remember that in the intro. Hollywood Boulevard, yep. That's the confirmation that it is LA, post-apocalyptic LA. Okay, there's the drugs. I recognize the drugs, of course, from uh, the Fallout games. You got the cams and all that kind of stuff too. Yeah, see these vaults actually look so much like the vaults. You should not be alone. Brotherhood of Steel. I know some people are questioning why is the Brotherhood of Steel in this uh, show. People are actually wondering about the NCR as well. That's what I do know. Okay, that's cool. I do like the Western vibes to it, of course, just like Fallout New Vegas. Okay, and when it comes to the ghoul, definitely this ghoul character what they could have done is make his eyes a little bit more black because the ghouls are you know their eyes are black but hey it looks like you know this ghoul character does look cool though let the cgi for the monsters look pretty good definitely He's taking drugs, yep. Everyone wants to save the world, they just... They disagree on how. Everyone wants to save the world, they 
Yeah, it looks like she's probably gonna have a really big evolution, probably. She's probably gonna be that innocent vault dweller. Okay, it says all episodes available April 11th. Um, I definitely gotta say, I guess it is good and stuff that they are gonna be having this all available, but at the same time though, I have a little bit of a problem with the episodes being available all at once. I'd rather do the week to week sort of thing and stuff, like waiting you know uh for a new episode every week the reason why i actually wanted that wanted it that way is because so there's like you know little cliffhangers in between so people can do you know their reviews for individual episodes and stuff and then do their prediction type videos like i actually don't mind that kind of stuff because when i watched the walking dead and even the last of us and you know other television series while growing up a lot of youtubers would do these like um, re uh, episode reviews and predictions and stuff and some of the predictions you know some of them got them right some of them got them wrong and I actually got to say the episodes uh, predictions and speculation all that stuff that was always fun and I do enjoy that um, this fallout show definitely looks like it, it is probably gonna be pretty good it looks very good to me but the problem is you know there's probably gonna be little cliffhangers in these episodes but the thing is it's not really a cliffhanger it's gonna say five four three two one next episodes about to play because we can just binge it all like that and then of course you know the only cliffhanger we will be left off on is when the season ends of course and the only predictions and speculation videos you can make it's just for a season two type of thing and of course if this show of course ends up being good they will of course announce for a season two and it could potentially spawn a um, Fallout um, TV um, cinematic universe, which could be interesting. And I think it could be something special if executed right. But um, if if they ever wanna do something like a Fallout s season two, I hope that they do this whole like, you know, uh, episode week to week sort of thing. That's one thing I kind of have a problem with with another show I really love. It's called Stranger Things. They they do this um, thing where they release like, you know, most of the season right away. But last year, or not the last year, a couple years ago almost now for uh, Stranger Things 4, they did um, volume one. They released all episodes for volume one. And then they did volume two. Maybe for Fallout, if they want to do something like that, sure, maybe they could do a volume one, first part of a season, then a second part of a season. But yeah, um, I know some people do have a problem with the whole week to week thing. They're like, oh, I'd hate waiting on cliffhangers. Uh, it's just, you know, some people are just impatient and stuff. They just want, you know, to go through it and just end it like that. But, you know, a lot of YouTubers, especially including me myself, I actually enjoy the whole breaks in between weeks and wa wanting to speculate and see other people talk within the community and stuff about you know, what did this, what's this cliffhanger gonna lead to? Stuff like that. Like these little minor cliffhangers. But the only cliffhanger you're gonna be left off on is the end of a season, and then you're probably gonna be waiting with that exact same speculation for over a year or two or whatever. And there's really not very much, you know, like speculation more than that, just that. But yeah, when you have a show that doesn't air all of its episodes all in one, when you have these week to week speculation stuff, it gets the community going, buzzing and buzzing about the show still. But when you release everything all at once and stuff, people are just gonna zoom through that. And that's it, guys. It's not gonna be talked about for the next coming months or however month or whatever long it is. It's just gonna probably be talked about for maybe about a week or two or something. But when you have these TV shows that like maybe do like, I don't know, 10 episodes like for a season or something, the next 10 weeks, everyone is gonna be talking about that for the next weeks to come. And you know, that's one thing I enjoy that The Walking Dead does. But you know, I do see that people do have problems with the cliffhangers, I understand, stuff like that. I know you don't like it and stuff because you know, you're impatient to know what's gonna happen next. But with me, I am very patient with that. I've, you know, been watching The Walking Dead for so many years. I'm so used to all those cliffhangers. And post-apocalyptic television does do cliffhangers pretty well, I definitely got to say. It makes you really want to know what's going to happen next, and it makes you start asking questions all over the internet. Start posting all this kind of stuff, what's going to happen next. And, but yeah, I, I definitely got to say, this Fallout show, I think it could be something special, as long as the writing is good, and... It, it brings in a new medium of audience and stuff, of course, too. Like, especially people who don't really play video games. Um, I think they could probably like this uh, this show um, if they actually 
you know, make some good lore into this or something too. I know Fallout has been having, you know, a little bit of lore issues over the years, you know, especially of course with the Fallout 76 game, you know, uh, it's a multiplayer game after all, usually multiplayer games don't have the best lore anyways, but yeah, anyways, um, if you're a fan of Fallout or any like, you know, post-apocalyptic um, franchise or anything like, like, like that, consider subscribing to the channel and ding that bell icon really hard so I can always stay within fast reach of your fingertips when new uploads arrive. Zomfected Gaming 349 over and out. You're alive. <laughs>